Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to a 1v1 pro match. Today we're on Vendetta, the map, and down in the south with Red Jelly Demolition, which is Boyka. Uh, but in all facing him today, the USA Air Force in the blue. This is Fargo. With a Fargo 92% power plant there. Thought about moving his dozer off. Is he a little bit scared, a little bit agitated? Or just making mistakes. <laughs> but it didn't slow him down that much. Moving into build two supplies. Okay, Boyke going for pretty much a standard build. He's going to get a tunnel up here in the middle. Fargo coming through with a Chinook. The drop inside of the base of Boyke. Probably will get a few workers here. There is a TNT on the way. Boyke loses one worker so far. Bringing his TNT over. He's got RPGs here as well. And that dozer is for now. Chased away. Barracks going up now for Fargo as one of the main base. Over on the left hand side, you have Sneaky Worker here from Boyka. The uh, Dozer is back in action. TNT detonates from Boyka. Does kill the Dozer, but he did lose a few workers there. And he's also going to be denied collecting by this Chinook. But his first tentacle is out, headed straight over to the left hand side. Two Vs are going to intercept it. Are they going to be able to stop the technical in time. Is Boyka going to retreat and go for the power instead? He does. Gets the power plant. It does slow the Air Force down because he's only just rebuilding that now. His production is going to be halved until that power plant is on 100%. Over on the right, Boyka also building a tunnel here. And over on the left-hand side, left flank, he's building a tunnel there as well. So trying to get this around. Air Force is considered the stronger army here. You got so many more options as the Air Force than the demo. You could, for example, go Comanches. You could go Raptors and Vs. You could go just pure Vs. You could go Vs and then Combat Chinook, or you can just go Combat Chinook Rush. Whereas the demo pretty much has to go for TNTs and then probably eventually into quads. Fargo grabs hold of this middle building. And Fargo now looking to push out. Should be able to close down that tunnel, I think. But there is a bit of a Boyka pop here. Does kill 1v, which is pretty good there for Boyka. He could repop and maybe even target in the next V. He does get it. So it's pretty good there for Boyka. He's also going to damage this other V. Before retreating back into the tunnel. But there is a TNT. Is that a TNT there? From Boyka up in the top left. And he pops his RPGs and kills even another V. So Fargo, probably you could say this is a mistake. Headbutton this tunnel when otherwise you don't need to. I get what he's trying to do. He's trying to bust through there. And get straight close to the arms dealers. But the other option would have been just to have left that tunnel. Gone left like through here and gone straight to the arms dealer. That probably could have won in the game. Or at least if not caused Boyka significant damage. Because the alternative was do this, what he did. And he's lost, like, what, two or three Vs for it. The fog are now bringing the reinforcements. Eventually, we'll clear this tunnel with the help of the point defense lasers of this Chinook. Top left, we still have this tentacle running around. Fargo still collecting here, but there is a tunnel being established. Fargo now had the nervous left inside of his main V arm. He has a fire base in the main base. Second supply now going up. Fargo again, this time on the crates. Technical trying to sneak through here for Boyka. Does get laser lock, getting chased by the Vs as well. And yeah, does not come in. But that's actually a distraction. The real thing looks to be over here on the left hand side. So nicely played there from Boyka. And he's probably going to get himself the War Factory. Yeah, does get himself the War Factory. Has revealed the Combat Chinook transition here 
from Fargo. Boyk is still on two supplies. Quad over on the left hand side trying to do some harassing, but Fargo clears that and is now also on this combat chinook. Lots of technicals moving in on this left hand side. Does he have any RPGs inside there? He does. Kills of Dozer. Chasing a V down. Gets a V. Chinook is blocking these uh, missile shots from the RPGs. And where's that combat Chinook gone? It is hovering around the middle so far. Now heading up towards the top left. Killing pretty much all of the tentacles, but Fargo did lose some Vs and lost a lot of HP on those two. But either way, that one will be now... Th th sorry, that attack will now be stopped. And Fargo heading over straight to the main base. But this combat sneak has already been revealed for quite a while. And therefore, there are three quads out. But the combat sneak is still so powerful. Still wrecks three quads. Combat Nuke is going to die, but he already unloaded the missile defenders, and that's still problematic because with a nice laser lock, those two Chinooks still should go down. If I go down, putting pressure on the front. Quad's trying to kill as many MDs as possible, but if he's come in to help. Quite a tense game. Fargo is here, only with uh, one V with missile defenders in it. The other two missile defenders just on the ground, trying to laser lock this quad. Looks like a bit of a drop there from Fargo. I'm actually confused if he did drop them MDs or not. I wasn't 100% watching or if he just unloaded them. <laughs> it's a bit of a, uh, a full-on exchange here. Boyk uh, almost losing a quad. Now taking out that Chinook. And I've just realized, actually, Fargo's hunted. This is why it is so tense. This is why he's trying to close things down. He is absolutely hunted. I know he lost the dozer there before, but didn't realize that was his last one there. The first one actually died to the TNT from the very beginning. That is why Fargo is going so all out at the minute. So Boyka only has to hold. So yeah, boy, both players not in good condition. However, it's better for Boyker, obviously, because you can just drop down a load of tunnels. And you would imagine with any kind of a drop, the tunnels should eventually win. He's dropping down some demo traps. Pathfinders are out, which will detect demo traps. Yeah, demo traps in play. Not sure if there's any uh, Pathfinders here, though. Quads being produced by Boyka going inside of the tunnel. Here comes the Pathfinder. Demo trap is revealed. And Boyka is under immense pressure. Maybe wants to consider about selling the entire base and just building like a ring of tunnels around one location. Could be a way forward here for Boyka. You don't want to let Fargo get the kills. You're just going to get veterans on his infantry and you're not going to get any money from the cell. So Boyke desperately needs to drop down a barrack somewhere. Boyke's actually looking like he's going for a counter-attack. This could be good, at least to kill those Chinooks. But I think Fargo's got enough money regardless just to produce on one barracks. Yeah, Boyke thought about going in here with his two quads, but there's quite a lot of MDs there. Um, yeah, I think Fargo can do this because he's the one with the money and the production, whereas Boyker is about to be kicked off that and he won't be on any collection anymore once that is killed. Fargo's going to brute force kill these tunnels. Looks like Boykit is preparing a TNT. A little bit risky because there's no guarantee that's going to hit properly because there could be Pathfinders spread around the base. That's what a lot of players would be doing at this point. So 
he could kind of inside of the base trying to stop Fargo from collecting. TNT here from Boyka hugging the right side of the map. Fargo's going to go inside of this bunker and I'm pretty sure he can outrange that arms dealer from there. But here comes the TNT. There is a Pathfinder in play. But he's not evac it yet. He's going to evac it maybe around this side. He gets the uh, Pathfinder with the TNT. Even though the Pathfinder took out one of the units. And now there's a Vet 3 quad here. And Fargo is under a lot of pressure. Even though he's doing well here. Luke is going to be reduced to like one building. But Fargo is also going to be reduced to one building. Oh no, actually. He's still got three now. But he's going to be reduced to two. Fargo coming in now with a big drop. Could laze lock here. Very, very important moment. Does take out the quad. But... Fargo can no longer produce. MD's hugging this right side of the map. Boyka needs to drop down another building. I don't think Boyka has enough, though. I think that those MDs can just kill that barracks, and that is GG. Holy moly. What is Fargo doing? Ah, I think, I think Fargo's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Holy moly. That was insanely close. It's about you less than a quarter it. HP there on that supply. Really, really legendary game between these uh, two players. This has been Nemesis's Nemesis's or Nemesi <laughs> for a while. Uh, Nem Nemi? Nemesi? I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Nemesis but, uh, for a while. Playing each other over and over again for many, many years. And I think Fargo overall is the stronger player and the better player. And he got the win there. Uh, but that was so close though, Boyka with maybe a couple of tweaks could have, uh, could have maybe won that as well. Maybe just needed to camp it out with more tunnels. Did he need that arms dealer? Did he need to let it die to the MDs? He could have sold the arms dealer, could have built a barracks in the top left. I think he had a worker there or a tunnel at least. Uh, definitely possible there for Boyka, but either way, super, super close and down to the wire. So GG, well played. Let me know if you thought of this down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.